there were four friends who completed their education. Three of them were excellent in the sciences and the fourth one could not complete his education. But he was very good with his common sense. The three friends who were highly educated in science would make fun of this fourth one saying that you are not sufficiently educated, you are a simpleton, you are not up to our standard. And in fact one of them even started suggesting that as we are going to the city to find a job, we should not allow this fourth one to come with us. But others protested saying, no, no, after all we have grown up together, we have studied together, we are friends. Even if he may not have studied, but still we are together. As they were walking through the jungle, they came to a spot where they found a whole bunch of bones. The first friend said, actually, I know the science of putting these bones together and creating a skeleton. So immediately, using his vidya or his knowledge, he put together those bones and a skeleton was formed. The second friend said, I know how to put flesh and blood into these. And he put flesh and blood into these and immediately the flesh and blood was right there. Now the third friend immediately said, let me bring this to life. But at that point, the fourth man who had less education but more common sense, he said, this whole form looks like that of a lion and if you bring him to life, he may kill us. But the other three said, come on, you are always protesting. We have to show the power of our knowledge based on which we will get tremendous investors in the city. And in spite of the protests, they went ahead and brought that entire animal back to life. It was a lion. But before he did that, the fourth friend said, let me go up and climb the tree before you do this. And I will watch the power of your signs from above the tree. And he went to the top of the tree and he watched as the lion came back to life. And the first thing the lion did was pounce upon these three, injured them and they ran for their lives. Bhavantam eva anucharam nirantara Prashanta nishesha manorathantara Kadaham aikantika nitya kinkara Praharshaishyami sanatha jivitam Each one of us has been given a free will and the purpose of the free will is to utilize it in service. When we utilize our free will in the service of the Supreme Lord to please Him, then our joy and satisfaction grows. But we may use our own free will in such a way that we engage ourselves in sense gratification. The sense objects are just like this lion. They appear to be innocent at the beginning. But the more we try to indulge in them, just like the lion devoured these men, this experience of sense gratification and the so-called feeling of happiness which generates as a result of this sense gratification devours a person's consciousness completely. And therefore in the Stotra Ratna, Shripad Yamuna Chari says, Bhavantam evanu charam nirantara the soul is looking for two things in life. One, peace of mind or satisfaction and second is bliss and joy. Both of these are available to that person who engages in serving the Lord and His devotees. Kadaham aikantika nitya kinkara praharshayishyami sanatha jivitam and thus serving in that mood we actually experience that yes I am an eternal servant of the Supreme Lord and in that feeling I experience the deepest joy.